What's going on guys, JB Tech here and let's talk about the latest app released by Apple and that is iPhoto and if you're like me you're still on 5.0.1 because of jailbreak reasons and you do have to update to 5.1 in order to get iPhoto and the updated version of iMovie and as you see here I do have the firmware 5.0.1 and like I said it is because of jailbreak reasons because this is the iPhone 4s and I don't want to update because I don't want to lose my jailbreak because currently there is no jailbreak for 5.1 on A5 devices but there is one on A4 you can check out my channel for that video but anyways in order to work around this and still stay on 5.0.1 and still get Apple's app iPhoto along with the updated version of iMovie we'll have to have it jailbroken of course and we'll have to download iFile as you see here and then we'll have to update something which is going to be a file in here and we'll have to be in systems as you see here let me just show you real quick how to get there we have to go to the little forward slash area then we go to systems library and then we'll go up to core services and we scroll all the way down to system version dot p list and this is what we have to tap on and then open up with property list viewer and as you see here on the product version down there we do have 5.0.1 and so simply we'll click on that and then we'll basically trick our i device into thinking it's running 5.1 so we'll just type in 5.1 right here we'll go back hit on done and then now simply to take effect this will have to be respringed or restarted just go ahead and respring it if you have SB settings or whatever app you use to respring your device. Once that is respringed or resprung, however you want to say it. <laughs> Anyways, once that is done, we'll simply slide to unlock and then we'll open up the app store and then now we'll install iPhoto. And this will be working perfectly. It will install and then as you see here, I do have iMovie and I, I will just have to update that because everything will work because we are magically running iOS 5.1 but we're actually on 5.0.1 so once that does download let's go ahead and open iPhoto and then as you see here it does actually crash we open it up and it crashes so there actually is a work around this and we have to open up Cydia and then search for iPhoto 501 fix so once we do open that up, go ahead and install that. And then once it installs, we have to respring, of course, and then it will take effect after it has resprung. Resprung. I think that's how you would say. It. I don't know. I'm not good at English. English is my my first language actually. Yeah. <laughs> Anyways, once we do respring, it will pop back up, of course. And then we'll go ahead and open up iPhoto once again. And as you see here, it is updating Photo Library with no crashes or anything. And let me go ahead and fast forward this because my library is pretty big. And yeah, so it has updated my library. And as you see here, iPhoto is running with no problems or anything whatsoever. And yeah, so that's iPhoto for you guys. As you see here, there's no errors or crashes or anything everything works smoothly with these tweaks and everything done to your iDevice and then now we can actually open up and download iMovie which is going to be the latest version as you see here I do have iMovie and it does have the new trailers and everything you can do now so it's pretty cool and as I see as you do see here it does run smoothly as well so everything seems to work fine if you just follow these easy steps so hopefully you got this running and everything if you have any problems or anything let me know at the comment section below and also if like always if you like this video go ahead and hit that little like button if it helped you out and everything and if you have any questions suggestions or anything like that leave that in the comment section below also don't forget to hit that subscribe button up top for the latest jailbreaks and tweaks city of tweaks and all of that good stuff but anyways guys Thanks for watching and I will catch you on the next one. Peace.